recording Zoom here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, we can. Yeah, no, minute. no, can't hear. I can hear you, but Daddy can't because I have the headphones on. You pressed um the red mic. Oh wait, I'm can muted. you hear me? I'm muted. You can hear you. Hello, sorry, I was muted. Hello. Was it you? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Oh my. Hi. Hi. You all right? There? Yeah, I'm good. How has your day been? Busy. Well, bit, bit some bats and you know nothing exciting. How was yours? Weird. Um, I'm my day was pretty good. Uh, I slept till around eight o'clock and I got up and played some computer games. Oh. Yeah. Right. Good. Good. Well, we, well, we've just cleaned up, cooked, and not done. Too many exciting we things. Been, we haven't been out and about. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, would you like to start the interview now? If you like, yeah. Okay. 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 So. Click on here. Uh, where did um, your uh dad yeah. serve in the war? Great granddad Smith. Granddad Smith, yes. Yeah. Where did he serve? He he served well. He was in the fifty first Highlanders, Black Watch Regiment, and he served in. Well, he went to France. He went, the, the first action he did was on uh, D Day. Before mm -hmm. that, he was uh, trained in Bingley, which is just around the corner from us. So that's how we met. Uh, your your great grandma. She was a nurse. Yeah. No more questions. I remember um, hearing about how she was a nurse. Um, how old was he when he um, received the lesion done there? Well, he was about ninety because it took an awful long time for France to decide to award the lesion d'honneur. And then we had to apply for it and prove that he'd been in France. So it took mm. two or three years, but he got it about four years ago. Is, have you got the letter? Is the photograph, is it dated? I um, do not have the letter, but I have a picture of the actual, um, the medal. I have a picture of that. Yeah. Okay. Have you got a letter that goes with it? Um, I do not. No, I do not. I'll have another look then. But it's about... Okay. Okay. Four years ago. Okay. So, um, were you uh proud of him when you uh heard the news that he had received it, the medal? Yeah, because not too many people have, and and it was a long time coming, really, wasn't it? Because when you think about it, you know, and he didn't get it till about nineteen to two thousand. Two thousand and two. Like yeah. That. So it took a long time, but yeah, we were we were proud because he he lived long enough to get it. Because if he'd have died while we'd applied for it, he couldn't have had it. So he did get it while he was still alive. Um, uh, where I um read that he was shot. Where was he shot? No, he was not shot. He was. It was uh, an explosion. Oh. They, were shelling, they were shelling in Khan. B A E N Alex. Khan, a, a, yes. a city, city just in, well about miles in, inland from the deep Okay. And okay. so he he went to take a message from HQ to somebody to somebody up on the line, and that's what happened. He he, he, he was with his friends. But he survived, but his friends didn't when the shell was sort of landed around them. Okay. So that's why that's also why he was deaf, because obviously the shells made such a noise that they just split his eardrums. So he spent most of his life not being able to hear properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did 
he die of um old age or like was it from the ears? Was it like a vibration or something? No, no, no. it was the old age. Although Alex, as mm -hmm. teenagers, the doctors told him he probably wouldn't live past forty years of age, and he lived to ninety six. So they got that wrong. So, so ninety six so... seems to be a reasonable age. <laughs> old age. <laughs> But uh, yes, no, he died of old age. Okay. And he's from Scotland. Thank you for um, the information. I'll uh, make sure to use this. Uh, thank you for the interview. Oh, okay. do, do you not need anything else? No, I. Uh, those were like the only questions I could uh, conjure in my life. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, another thing, Alex, was yes. he, he, because he was injured, it took a long time for him to get a war pension. So if he'd fought in the war, you can get a war pension. But again, he didn't have that for many, many years, and we had to apply for that. So it took a long time to get rewarded for being mm. in the war and fighting for his country. Uh, well, um, thank you for this uh, interview. I uh, got a lot of useful information there. I'll okay. make sure to use all of it. And because he was Scottish, he played the bagpipes. Ooh. So when they were on the beach in Normandy, if you look up the Piper Mullins, um, there was a piper on the on the beach, and that's what stopped a lot of them being killed because the enemy didn't oh. didn't know what he was doing. So He's that marching up and down playing the bagpipes, and they thought he was oh, mad. Right. But it did save a lot of lives. That. And when Grandad died, we had a piper playing the same song at his funeral. But he's Scottish, so it was Black Watch. Yes. And yes. then he met Grandma Smith, his wife, my mum, um, in Bingley dancing. But he was in hospital in Bingley, but he, that's where he met her dancing when he got better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Well, Is that it? Thank you for your um thank you for your time. Uh have a good uh evening. You Alex, same to you. Oh, as well. uh, love you both. Goodbye. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Nice right, circle, by the way. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Call again if you need anything else, won't you? Okay. Yeah, definitely. I will do that. All right, okay. sweetheart. Lovely right, to talk to you. Okay. Nice. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.